Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial and today we are going to look at grouping queues and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create two groups the first group will, will have a upload limit of 512 kilobits per second and a download limit of 6 megabits per second and uh, the queues, all the users in that queue will be limited to 256 kilobits upload and 3 megabits upload and that will include 3 users and the second group uh, these, this, is, this is a limit where we have 256k for upload and 4 megabits for download and the, the, each client will have 128k upload and 2 megabits download and this queue will include 3 clients so let us go over to Winbox and put in this configuration so the first thing that we need to do is identify the clients that you want to put in the queue and first of all ensure that these clients are uh, addresses are static and what we're going to do now in in the queue list we're going to head over to queue type and uh, you will see a queue named PCQ Download Default. What I'm going to do is to make a copy of this queue, of the queue type, and I'm going to call this um, PCP Download Download, and this would be for the first set of users, and these users would have a download speed of three megabits per second. So I'm going to call this 3M and the rate, I'm going to change the rate to 3, 3M which stands for 3 megabits. So this is where you would put the rate or the speed at which you want the download um, rate for the client to be and this would be the maximum download limit. Okay. And I'm going to do the same for the upload. And I'm going to call this the upload is 256 kilobits. So I'm going to call this 2K, 256 K. And then I'll just put this here in the rate and this would be the maximum upload speed and then OK so we have created two queue types one for the download one for the upload and what I'm going to do now is create another queue type for the next group of the second group of users which is 128k up and 2 megs down Let's make a copy of this. So this is two megs down. And let's change this to two. And uh, we're going to make a copy of this one also. And this is 128k. And uh, the maximum upload is 128k. Alright, so we have created the queue types for both queues are both groups that we are going to create. Now we are going to go over to queue, simple queue, and we are going to create the queues. So the first queue that we are going to create is, is group 1 and it's going to have a 512 kilobits upload and 6, and six down. So we can call this group group 1 and uh, the target would be I'm going to use the first three IP address as a as for the first group so this would be 192.168.88.249 and click click on this button to add a new target which is the PC or the device that you are targeting for this queue 
and we're going to add the third one now which is 251 251 and we'll set the upload to be a maximum of 512 and uh, the download to be 6 megabits down and in advance we're going to select the queue type and the queue type that we're going to use for this one is the download of PCQ download 3, three um, upload with 256 yes so it's PCQ upload 256k this is the upload queue this is the queue that we're going to use queue type that you're going to use and for the download we're going to use the PCQ download 3 megabits so these are the queue type that we're going to use the ones that we just created and uh, for parent we're not going to have an, we don't have an parent so we're just going to leave leave that as is so okay now we're going to create the second group and the second group call is group 2 and we're going to put in the address for that second group which is 252 253 and 254 so two five two two five three two five four and this queue has a two six K up and four megs down. So two fifty six up and uh, four megs down so this is the, so th this limit is a limit that this queue will be able to reach so these are the limit of the queue but in the advance where we choose the queue type the queue type is where the client will be limited from so each client will be limited for the upload for this queue will be 128 so this would affect each client and for the download just the same it's going to affect each of the clients so this is what will affect each client but in the maximum limit is what will affect the overall queue that means although each user has um, an upload on um, upload of 128 and a, and a download of 2 megs if all three users are downloading and uploading of the same at the same time it would be more than the 2 for 6 limit but this limit now will prevent that from happening so although the, each client can can go in total go over the bandwidth this limit now is actually a, a hard cap that will prevent the the users in total from going over this maximum limit so i'm grouping all of these and limiting the maximum bandwidth used by all of these users um together so let us check let us check the queues and queues look okay all right so we're okay in that so these are the queues that were created now so we have group so this is the first group and the second group and um, what i'm going to do now i'm going to do a download test and let you see the traffic or the traffic flows through the queues so we are seeing where the don't the queues are now lighting up that means the queues are now doing what they're supposed to do and they have reached their maximum limit so the queue has reached their max limit and the the queue types that were set so like for group one so the queue type that was set would limit each user to a maximum of 3 megabits so although it's 3 users um, only, th only the maximum bandwidth that a user could get for download is 3 megabits and 256k upload and uh, for group 2 128k upload and 2 megabits download for each user so this is what affect each user and 
this max limit is what affect the entire group of users so this is how you would go about grouping your queues so if you have say for instance a user that has multiple devices on the network you could actually create a group and set a, a maximum limit for that user uh, so you can easily manage those those users based on maybe a name or a type it could be Wi-Fi users and you put all the Wi-Fi users in a particular group and maybe the users on the local network you could add them to another group it depends on depending on how you want to do the configuration but this is how it is done and I hope you enjoyed this video and you've learned a lot from it and please remember to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching